It's hard to put enough words together to express the amount of gratitude that I have for my personal heroes, healthcare workers. Fortunately enough, we have a network of patients and families, the PFA network, who all serve in the role of patient family advisor, using their lived experiences to help improve health outcomes for all. These are the patients and families that you partner with on advisory council meetings and improvement projects. We want to say thank you. We want to say we see you, we see the dedication, we see you with those masks on, we see you saving lives, we miss you, we miss being in person and being together, and we thank you. We thank you so, so much for everything that you are doing. If all of the people in the world would say thank you, I still don't think that would be enough to let you know how grateful we are for all of your hard work and sacrifices during this COVID pandemic. But that's all we can do for now. Until the day comes where we can thank you in person and wrap you in a big hug, know that we are grateful for everything you are sacrificing for us. Whenever I called on you, you answered. When I was searching for a new primary care team that would return my phone calls, see me when I needed help, and make me feel that you know me and care about me. I called on you and you answered. When I worried about a pain, an infection, a headache, a fever, you gave me your full attention no matter how unimportant my symptom was. You understood that it was important to me. I called on you and you answered. In the old days, your joy and your work fueled my hope. Your lightness lifted me. Your laughter warmed me. Those days have passed and we are now in a dark time. I see your exhaustion, your grief, your fear. I see the terrible choices you've made and will make. I see your heart breaking and reforming to break again. I see your families waiting for you, praying for you. And more than all this, I see your purpose and your courage. I see how you are able to find the depths of your compassion in the depths of this darkness. I see you tap into the reserves of your strength and the fullness of your knowledge. I see how you hold your colleagues with kindness. And should my time come and I lay in your ICU, the fog surrounding me as I hear my own breath labor and rattle, yearning for my loved one who is sitting his sad vigil at home, I know I will feel your hand on my hand, anchoring me as I turn in one direction or another. I will call on you, and I know you will answer. Hello, I'm Kathy Burkett, and I'm a member of the PFA Network, and I wanted to send a message to all our caregivers over the past year dealing with COVID. We appreciate all your efforts and hard work under these unimaginable circumstances, so we thank you every day for the work and the care you give uh, to so many. Thank you. On your toughest days and every day, know that we see you, we support you, and we care for you. We are working behind the scenes to support your every patient encounter because we care for you. My wish for you this holiday season is that you have an opportunity to take a deep, renewing breath, that you find moments of engagement, thriving, and well-being, and are empowered to care for yourself and your patients. Thank you for all you do. Hey there. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the healthcare workers, the people on the front lines of this pandemic. I thank you, my family thanks you, and I will continue to be wearing one of these and my family will wear them to help protect us and you and to slow the spread so that at some point um, this will all be in the past and we can move on to some sort of new normal. But I thank you. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. As I sit here in my comfortable, warm, safe home where I get to work every day, I think about all of you and that you put your lives on the line going to work every every day for us and I can't imagine what that feels like but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking care of 
my friends and my family and sacrificing your personal safety and sacrificing time with your family to do that for us. So at least know that every day as you go into work, there are people who appreciate what you do. Thank you. Hi, I am Lisa Freeman, the Executive Director of the Connecticut Center for Patient Safety. During these very challenging times, we want to share our appreciation and thanks to all of our frontline workers for all that you do day in and day out, sometimes at great risk to yourselves on behalf of patients across our country. Your selfless work during the pandemic is very appreciated and speaks to the character and dedication of each and every one of you. We are all truly grateful and we thank you. Hi, I wanted to take a moment today to extend my deepest gratitude to all of our frontline healthcare workers who are so courageously battling this pandemic on behalf of the American people. There are so many of us who are deeply appreciative of your efforts at getting up every day and going in and taking care of the people who need you most. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the sacrifice that you're making and that all of your families are making with you so that you can be here for us. We see you, we see your efforts, we see your sacrifice, and we're here to support. I wish that I could jump through the phone and give you all a big hug and, and prop you up in the way that I really want to. but. Um, for now, just know that there are many, many, many people um, here who are, are grateful for your efforts and who look forward to the time that we can give you time back to rejuvenate, to rest and recover. We'll be here for you when it's over as well. Take good care. To all the healthcare workers around the nation and caregivers, during this COVID-19 pandemic, we want to say thank you Thank you for taking care of our mothers, our fathers, our sisters and our brothers, our nieces and our nephews, and our cousins. Thank you for giving your all, sacrificing everything every day. And to encourage you more, here's Blake Graham with his fight song. I'm not gonna leave without a fight. I'll fight for my life. I won't be pushed down, I will not back down. I won't leave without a fight. I'll fight for my life. I'll fight for both you and me. We'll make it through. Thank you, Blake. 